हेलो एवरी वन होप यूर डूइंग गुड सो इन लास्ट सेशन आई हैव कबर्ट अबाउट पोस्टमैन टूल एंड आई हैव सोन अबाउट ऑल द फ्यूचर एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट द वर्क स्पेस एंड हाउ टू चेंज दिस यू आई स्क्रीन लाइक अर्लियर आई वॉज यूजिंग द वाइट देन आई स्विच फ्रॉम वाइट टू दिस ब्लैक बैकग्राउंड ऑल राइट एंड इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट how to create the collection and what is collection and uh, how to create the folders of folder and how can we invoke any api so those things i am going to cover in this session so let me talk about the collection what is collection a collection so here we can see this this is the uh, button for the collection here this is uh, you know tab if i click we can we can create new collection so what is a collection so a collection is the series of save postman request so we can save multiple requests inside a collection and in collection we can create folder sub folder to keep things organized so here if i click on new then i can create the collection all right so today i am going to uh, give demo for few api so let me search a rest api sample link rest api sample link i am searching so let me find out so one is a api dot close and one this is so this is i like it this is very good very neat and clean example in this website r e q r e s all right so here we can see here multiple request here so this first one we can see as a get request so let me click okay all right so we can see here so first one is a get and this is the end point here we can see here and it is having one parameter page 2 or 3 so if we hit this request then we will we should get the 200 response code and we should get similar some this type of response response may be differ okay based on the data so this is one api of the get we have you know one multiple get request we have post put patch delete so today i am going to talk about get so what is a get request get mean we are trying to get some data from the server so if i compare about like um, i am sure everyone uh, must have used sql queries so in sql we can write uh, some query like select this user name from this table so we are we are collecting some data we are getting some data so similar this is a get request of the rest api so here the the behavior would be different here we'll get you know lots of data in a different form so let me switch to the postman so in postman let me go to collection and then let me create new so if we, if i create new i'll see this type you know one window so here multiple things are there request collection environment workspace api documentation mock server monitor api so here i am going to create one collection let me create, click on collection once i click on collection and here i can give one name so let me see here i can update the name so name i'll give based on uh, this api so here i can see here okay let me see user details something i'll see user details all right so here we can see this name name came here user details all right now here if i mouse over on this link and here you will see one star as well as a you know three dot so if i click three dot and if you see here there would be one option for creating one folder so here there is a option for creating folder add folder if i click add folder so it created one folder you can see a new folder so in new folder let me give name to basic testing all right and let me create one more sub folder so this is a nested folder i am going to create so add and here i'll negative testing i am creating other folder so in one folder i will keep all my positive scenario in other folder i will keep some negative scenario so whenever we are testing an api then we must have some positive and negative scenario 
so sometimes what is happening positive sun is working and if someone is stressing negative scenario those are not working so this is a always best practice keep positive as well as a negative scenario all right so if we see here this is a one folder now in this folder let me create the request so here if i click here add request here i can see here add request all right so if i click on add request then and automatically it is taking the request type as get so let me go to this website and if i see here so if you click here right on this link let me open a new open new tab so if i open new tab so here we can see here it is uh, in browser itself we can see the response so we copy this link and let me paste here all right and this is a get request and we don't require anybody just need to select here get and let me click on send so once i hit on send button here we can see a status code we are getting 200 and it took 235 millisecond and what is the size all right and along with we can see the response so this is a response here i'm getting this is in the form of json all right so here we can see here this is a response i'm getting all right so this is how we can invoke any api and here we can uh, we can verify multiple things like uh, we can verify uh, the response code the that should be 200 and how much time it is taken so sometime if uh, we are going to test performance perform testing for any api then we can add one particular you know time time period like we should get response within 500 millisecond or something different 2000 millisecond okay if api uh, api is you know very huge that is taking very long time to give the response so those things uh, uh, would be decided by your company like they can give some matrices like this api should take this time and within this time period we should get the response so based on that we can you know um, we can add assertion uh, on the response time as well and also we can verify uh, the data here those things i'll cover uh, in my next videos okay so here we can see here this is this is how we can invoke the api using by postman now we can this is not looks like good right if uh, today i am having one api right tomorrow i can have you know thousand or hundred apis here right so it's very difficult to find out so this is simply saying this new request but i don't know what is the api so let me give you know some uh, some uh, name so that i can understand which api this is so let me say get users details users okay it is giving multiple users all right get users details all right so let me click on save this one button here save let me click so here we can see this proper information all right so we have this parameter option here parameter so let me move it here so after question mark if we'll see anything that's called the parameter so by default it will come here you can see here page 2 so this value came here so we can if i'm modifying from here this window so automatic the value you can see here as well all right so let me hit all right so page 3 there is no data all right so page 2 we can see the data let me check page 1 as well page 1 and 2 those are having data other pages those don't have all right okay so let me check any other API for the guest yeah we can see here one more all right so this is one more request this is single user all right so here this is for single user so here you can see this id so based on the id we can fetch user details 
so let me duplicate so here if i right click there's an option for duplicate let me click on duplicate so here we can see this is a copy all right so let me give the proper name so get single user detail yes i am single user and details all right so let me click on save okay it's by default saved all right so here we can see this name now this is the url of the api or we can see the endpoint okay so let me go to this first okay so in first request for id1 what is the user george bluth all right so we should get if i am um, if i am sending the id1 so i should able to see this user details not other user not two all right so i should see the george so let me see one and let me click on send so here i can see it it is giving the proper response george all right so this is the second api where we can get the single user details do we have any other api as well let me go to let me close those both tab all right so one more api is here so if we send like this all right single user not found so if we are send we are you know giving you know some wrong number which doesn't exist so this the server should you know uh, should return the 404 status code so this this should go in negative test scenario so let me okay we don't have the option for copy so let me go to negative folder let me click on add request all right so here user not found so let me give the name user not found all right this would be part of negative testing so let me give the url here copy let me paste here and let me try to hit here we can see here we are getting the 404 so here what does it mean here we can see the request resource could not be found but may available again in the future so this is coming this message is coming you know from postman so if you go here okay there is no documentation so 404 okay so simple words uh, i can say like uh, if the id doesn't exist then it should return this code so let if i say one then i should see the response here george so for this api right so let me give some invalid value 199 let's see 199 okay same things we are getting 404 not found all right so do we have any other things as well so we have you know couple of uh, api so we you can test h per request so what is this unknown all right single user resource it is saying unknown okay let me try what will happen if i try to hit this all right so let me click on duplicate i am not you know editing the name of this just i want to try what will happen if i oh it is giving response all right okay so what the mean of this api what it is saying single resource single resource not found what is this single resource not found okay and it is saying unknown if i am sending then i will get the response in this way if i send this 23 then i should not get like this 23 if i click on it 404 all right so this is how we can um, we can invoke the get api get request so let me delete i don't want to keep this okay in future i 
I would like to cover you know multiple example this is very you know very simple so in future I would like to cover you know some complex uh, response so this JSON response is very straightforward it is having one array in data it is having one array and you know those are having you know multiple nodes all right so this is very straightforward but when we are having you know nested array all right nested object so that time it, you know those things like you know very difficult to assert okay those things i'll cover in you know upcoming future all right that's what i want to cover in this session thank you so much guys for watching this and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye take care